so last night or earlier this morning like really early at like 4 30 i woke up to some of the worst news of my life the black panther star and actor who has been seen in many marvel movies such as captain america civil war avengers infinity war avengers endgame had died at 43 due to colon cancer now i'd never really like ever met him before to be honest like well, of course I haven't, but I haven't really, like, spoke to him either because I haven't done that either. I have had to meet him for that, but this is more so just me just showing respect to the amazing actor that we were blessed with and then taken away, or, or that it got taken away from us. And I'm pretty sure in the Bible it says, Lord giveth and Lord taketh away. Um... That's pretty much what God did last night. And I, I just want to say, like, all my thoughts and prayers go out to his family and his friends, such as um, his friends that I mean, like, the friends that we know he had, like Don Cheadle, a.k.a. War Machine, Anthony Mikey, a.k.a. Sam Wilson of Falcon. And to be honest, like, us as black black children... And I'm not just saying boys, I mean like boys and girls, like anyone who loved Marvel, we just lost a role model. And I'm now like intensely looking at the other two black heroes that the MCU has. And I'm saying you have, like, I just feel like they have to step up now because like, like I've said before, it's either Chadwick Boseman's Black Panther or there's no Black Panther at all. Like he was, it's like he's, it was kind of like a like a RDJ type of thing. It's like he was made for the role. And um, as you know, Black Panther and pretty much like that's not all he started in. He also um, played as Jackie Robinson in one of the other movies that he was in. And I'm pretty sure he was in a movie called 21 something. I'm, I, I saw the name for it earlier. I just don't remember exactly what's it called. It's like 21 Street or something. But like, I'm not doing this for clout. I... I was, I like to think, I'd like to, I feel like I was an actual fan of him, but then you have like the other, the other people out here that are like, that like, I was on TikTok or after I found out and I just saw, I saw a video where right like an hour after he died, everyone, like his followers went from 7.3 million to 8.5 million. It's over a million followers. That means multiple pe- multiple fake people followed him after he died. And I'm, I'm not saying, like, all of them were fake. I'm saying, like, a good amount of them were. And, um... Like, just, just don't don't be one of those people. If, if you didn't know him well, just say, rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman. I didn't know him well, but I still respected him. Just say that. Don't, don't act like you've always been a fan of him because... That's not helping anyone. That's not helping you. That's not helping anyone. That's just making you seem like a fake person. And no one wants to seem like that. No one wants to come off as fake. But, um... I remember, like, after I had watched Black Panther in 2018, or early 2018, um, about a week after, when I got back to um school, me and a good friend of mine were pretending to be um, Black Panther versus Killmonger or Golden Jaguar or whatever in the final, the final battle, final battle where, um, where they almost got hit by that train, remember? Like, yeah, we were um, pretending we were the, um, the characters. And here's the thing, in GTA Online, I rename a lot of my cars in honor of like superheroes like I, I named my weaponized insurgent war machine and my red hydro iron man and everything and um now like this the scramjet I, I call the scramjet Black Panther. But it's like it's never gonna be the same again because whenever I'll whenever I see the scramjet, I'll always be like hit with like a short like a short, sharp twinge of pain. Same thing whenever I see the number 24 or the letters, or not the other, 
letters. The colors yellow and um purple. I'm always gonna think of Kobe like that. And now it's the same thing for Chadwick and I. It's like watching the movies, the Marvel movies he was in, like watching those are never gonna be the same again. Like I will not be able to watch Avengers Endgame and hear the battle the Wakanda battle cry the same again because I just know I'll never hear it again. And that's probably the worst part out of all of this. The fact that He was such an amazing person that, like, he, he made an impact on not just black children, like, mostly black children, but also pretty much anyone, like, and, and now, like, people that were just born, like, this year and have no idea about this, like, they'll see their parents watching, like, let's say, um, Avengers Infinity War and like 20 years or so, and they'll see Black Panther, they'll be like, who's that guy? And all the all the pain and all the memories will just come back bit by bit. At least that's how it's gonna be for me, probably. Um, like I said, this video was just for the respect of Chadwick Boseman, AKA Black Panther, and um, I'm gonna miss him. I'm really gonna miss him, like, terribly. But anyway, um, I'm pretty I'm pretty much done talking. Hope you guys can have a good day and um stay safe out there.